Hey everybody, this is just a real short video on a gaming rig build. A buddy of mine called me up the other day and uh, said, hey, I got all my components. Uh, can I bring them over? We can put them together. I'm like, sure, why not? So I decided to shoot some video while we got this thing rolling. So uh, if it looks like it's kind of last minute, it kind of was. But anyway, hope you enjoy it. Hey everybody, this is Chris with Overclockers Club. We're right in the middle of a build for a buddy of mine here. We're starting out with a Rio Toro CR1280 for the case. The heart of the system here is the MSI MPG X570 Gaming Edge Wi-Fi. And we'll also be using, for a CPU, the Ryzen 3900X. This is the latest third generation from AMD. And for a graphics card, we're using this cool Gigabyte GeForce RTX 2060 Super. Comes with 8 gigabytes of onboard VRAM. And for storage, we're going to use a couple of these solid state drives from Western Digital. We'll use a 1 terabyte for storage and we'll use a half terabyte for the operating system. So we've got the motherboard set in the case. We've got the hard drives installed. One of the hard drives is underneath this heat sink here. And then we've got the two sticks of RAM in the correct slots. And for case cooling, we decided to use some aftermarket fans here to sort of spice it up with some RGB that can be controlled. So he'll be using these GIM RGB case fans, or three of them per box, along with a little controller. And these are around $30 for a set of three 120 millimeter fans on Amazon. And finally, for cooling, we'll be using the Master Air MA620M from Cooler Master. And finally, for the power supply, we're using an EVGA 850GR fully modular power supply. So we walked through the system and determined exactly which cables we needed to use. Of course, you're going to use the main one for the motherboard, and we've got one for the CPU and the graphics card. And of course, you've got to supply power to any external hard drives that you use, and also the controllers for the RGB fans. So I'll just go ahead and slide that in the case. It's best to go ahead and get the cables plugged in before you put the power supply in because it's a real pain to try and connect those after the fact. Alright, so one of the things we realized after we got the motherboard in that the bracket for the cooler won't quite fit. So I got to pop the motherboard loose so we can get that in there. Alright, so we got the bracket all installed ready for the cooler. And it's always good to do a test fit to make sure all your brackets are installed properly and everything lines up. And then, of course, make sure you peel this sticker off before you put your thermal paste on. So now we tighten down the two main bolts here that hold the CPU cooler on. You just snug them up until the screws don't turn anymore. And then we're ready for the next step. All right, now it's time to get this graphics card installed. So we did a test fit just to make sure. And it sort of snaps into position. And now it's time to hook up the power connector. Now this is an 8-pin, single 8-pin supply, or 8-pin socket. And there we go. Alright, so we got the power turned on. Looks like everything's working. The next step is to get into the BIOS. There's the initial screen, so everything looks pretty good. And of course, shortly after powering it up, we realize that these fans have a mode where they pick up sound and they respond to it. They flash with the sound of your voice or the sound of anything. And of course, after you get it powered up, you spam the delete key, which should dump you into the BIOS. And you want to go ahead and point to, for example, we're using a, uh, an external USB drive up here to uh, use an OEM Windows 10 disk so we can get our operating system installed. But you have to tell it where to boot to find that drive first. 
So we replaced all of the original case fans with these cool RGB fans. And there was actually one extra spot here in the bottom of the case that has a mounting provision for a single 120 millimeter fan. So one of the original fans that we took out of the front, or it may have been the rear, either way, uh, we put that fan down here in the bottom and that will help pull air from behind this power supply shroud and push it up into the case, which helps out for cooling. And here's the final product. All right, so we got the system all powered up. Windows is installed. Next thing is to finish all the updates, get all the drivers installed. But that's it. Now we're ready to put the side on and start gaming. This is Chris with Overclockers Club. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.